So there's this song called Mirror. And one of the lyrics in that song, Mirror, is I just look like my beeping dad. And then when I heard that lyric, I was like, hmm, that is, that is true. I mean, I look at myself in the mirror and I see my dad. And that's what everyone else sees. They're like, Lisa, you look exactly like your dad. And then I don't know how to feel. Is that good? Is that bad? I mean, my dad is... And I have really like weird feelings after that. <laughs> now, my mom and my dad used to say, you need to act nice. You need to pretend, even if you're not, you need to pretend you're nice. Pretend you know your thing. Pretend you have manners. Because if you don't, they're going to think that we taught you bad. Because you are our, you are our mirror image. So you reflect us. So then I would go, okay, mom, and I'd go out and act all weird. My mom would slap me on the back, and that would be like 360 out of my 365 days a year. And from this, I figured out how we see other people, how we view other people, including ourselves, may be their parents. As previous impromptu practice, Zach had mentioned something along that line how how the parents are the kids are their parents. And I just instantly thought about like this whole connection between the mom, dad, you know, kid kind of thing when I read the prompt mirror. Because oftentimes how a kid's personality and how a kid's characteristic has been developed and the development process of it is due to their parents. If their parents are people who like to sleep in, people who like to you know eat fast food, then there's a high chance that when that kid grows up, they will be like one too. That's what everyone, every adult tells me. You need to act good for your parents at least. You may not want to act good, but just do it for your parents or else your parents, their name will be degraded. Your parents' friends are going to think your parents taught you bad. So, when I look at myself in the mirror, I only see the exterior part of myself. I only see me and my nose and my eyes, but nothing inside of me, nothing that is the true me. And both exterior-wise and interior-wise, I feel like I take after my parents. And I started to kind of agree with the statement that you are the mirror image of your parents. Before I was, I didn't believe that. I thought I am who I am, they are who they are, and that has to do nothing with me. But then, as I got older, even though I'm still only 16, but as I grew older, I realized that it was in fact true. I did, I did, was, I was becoming like my mom. I was speaking like my mom. I was eating like my dad. I was behaving like both of them. And then I went out in public and I met my parents' friends and they would tell me, your daughter looks exactly like you and behaves exactly like you too. And I just, the importance of me and how my image is viewed as my parents' image struck me. Like I, you know, I started to care about what I do. I started to care about what I say. I started to care about how I act because I didn't want my parents to, you know, I didn't want people to think how I was, was how my parents were because that's what's in everyone's head. Your kid is a mirror image of you. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not as good, but I just want my parents to be well, you know, people think of my parents as nice parents and, you know, 
people, I want people to think of me as a nice person too, of course. So maybe mirror image of you isn't just you. Maybe it's something more, some other people like your parents who you love and care. Maybe mirror and your reflection on your mirror isn't just about you. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Did you watch the clock at all? Well, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah sort of. <laughs> okay, you know that 510 is yeah, I was like <laughs> not 530. Like, oh, 510, 530. Uh, if you go over 510, you lose a ranking. Okay. If you don't reach 250, you lose a ranking. So 250 to 510 is... Uh, that's right, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. Do I have to point out that we need to figure out ways to 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 go more places, and that would when it seemed to just sort of like stay in the same place the whole time, like kind of like a wheel in a uh, you know. Yeah, I was thinking of like the like, uh, but um, yeah, your your personality is wonderful. You're 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 just delightful back here. So you've got like a great presence back here. Um, gee, mirror. Okay, so how do you how do you prepare your ideas? You got 60 seconds, you, oh, can I see your? Yeah, the first thing that I thought of was the song, and then how I was one of like, I just looked like my, you know, even dad, and then, and then I started to think about something else, like self-hatred and not liking yourself, but then I kind of went back to the, I just looked like my effing dad. Okay. And then kind of. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know, because, because there wasn't much of a story there, it got, it sort of got stuck and repetitive yeah. and all sort of thing. So notice, notice mirrors can be taken a million places. So always have uh, a more places to go, um, that sort of thing. Because um, God, if we hold a mirror up to, to this planet right now, it could be a, a nightmarish thing to look at. But then if we point in other directions, it can be a beautiful thing to look at. And so that mirror could go a lot of places besides just like, the one place that, that you say, but 60 seconds is a long time to actually have a few options. Socket, S A Q I B. Sophomore. Over there?